everyone so much for joining me again um, and I want to welcome you to a new video. I've got some great new things that I've picked up recently. I've got them quite cheap and I'm going to share those things with you. So first up is this little socket. It's a PSP. Now it is the first generation PSP so it's a little bit weighty. Um, but it's got all your buttons, there's no sort of touch screen features under here at all. It's got your C stick and shoulder buttons. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. I've wanted a PSP for a while but I didn't. I just wasn't able to pick one up in the condition that I wanted to pick it up. Um, unfortunately it's not in the box but it has got this little sort of hard case that it comes in. And I got it so cheap that I was just really chuffed with it. Also picked up some headphones. These are Atari headphones. They're pretty sweet. And the sound's not too bad either. They're not leather, so I'm happy about that because I don't really buy, I don't actually buy leather. Um, and they've got a bit of an old school style cord, and it's just your sort of mini jack that you can whack into your mobile phone or PSP. Some games that I picked up for it. So, first off, we've got Metal Gear Acid. Now, if you're a Metal Gear fan, you may or may not have played this, or you may not be interested in it. It's a card game, so essentially, it's a tactical turn based strategy game where you use strategic battle cards and you battle against certain enemies using more powerful cards. Um, it's okay, it's got a limited edition card book. It sounds pretty interesting, I'm not sure if I'll like it, but I'll give it a shot. And I've got the sequel. This uses 500 different cards, it's got a few different modes. And in the first game that came out, David Hayes didn't do the voice of Snake, but in the sequel, Acid 2, he did actually reprise the role of Snake and did the voice for Snake. And then we've got the original Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. This is the original one that came out for PSP and then was later ported onto PS3 and Xbox 360. And uh, this is really good. The graphics on the PSP are really impressive actually. By the time it came out, I'm really shocked by it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus. Now this is an extension of the Portable Ops that came out for it originally. It's got a new single player mode. Uh, you can play as Raiden, Roy Campbell and Old Snake. It's got new soldier types, recruit powerful allies using wireless hotspots, exchange soldiers in the online trading mode, import your squad from Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, uh, soldier skill improved with experience, more stages including the Rex Hangar from Metal Gear Solid, beginners mode, beginners lobby, insignia and training mode. So it's got a nice few extra sets and as I say I've got these all very cheap so I'm really really chuffed with these. I picked up also a Castlevania double pack. So there's two games in here uh, and they're both produced by Koji Igarashi. I know for, for a fact that Castlevania Symphony of the Night which is on here which is really great. Um, that is a quality port of the game and looks fantastic and then you've got Castlevania Rondo of Blood. I've never played Rondo of Blood but that looks like a cool little side scroller so I'm really looking forward to playing this. And I also picked up for the PSP Lukoroko. And this I've wanted for a little while because I like the graphic style on it. I also like the gameplay. It just seems quite a funny little quirky game for the PSP. So I'm looking forward to playing those. So that's the PSP stuff sorted. Now I did pick up a few Nintendo bits and pieces because as you know I love my Nintendo. So I've got Star Wars Lethal Alliance. And in this you play as Twilik Rian Saren, a skilled mercenary. And it's basically kind of like a third person over the shoulder view of Twelling and it looks a bit of a shooter and you can also use lightsabers as well. And I picked up Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Now I'm pretty sure this is the first one that came out. 130 puzzles in that one, so I'm looking forward to playing that. And we've got one for the Wii, the Lord of the Rings Aragorn's Quest. We've also, I did actually also pick that up for the PS3, but that's a... That's a Christmas present, an early Christmas present for someone. But this is a kind of like a hack and slash uh, Lord of the Rings styled combat game. So it's got drop in, drop out combat action as well. So that should be pretty cool.